let's talk organizing and keeping track of your offers. It is one thing to make your offer, get it out there, get it and selling it. However, where I see businesses imploding and wasting unnecessary time looking for things, communicating information, is that they don't have an infrastructure to keep track of your offers. So that is exactly what I want to show you. Now, I have previously done this with Trello. Many of you have access to and have used my Trello boards forever. Well, since 2015, but that's forever in internet years. Now I had friction points with Trello. So I am going to show you how I am doing and keeping track of this inside of Notion. This is my preferred location, but this would also transfer to any other tool that you currently have that has a infrastructure framework to keep track of things. So let me show you what Notion looks like and how I keep track of all of the different offers. So once you are inside of Notion, this is, and I will use some Notion terminology for fellow Notion geeks out there. I will also link below this video if you're curious about Notion, one, how to get it, but secondly, videos that they have done that might explain some of this terminology that feels a bit foreign to you. So this is a full page database of strictly offers. Now, the beautiful part is I can look at a glimpse and I've sorted this and I can look at what are offers that are currently published, what are offers that I have that I am not currently selling, I am in the midst of moving into Notion, so some of this stuff is still incomplete. Um, I moved it over from Trello. So in the infrastructure, the key pieces that you wanna make sure that you know are what offers are published. So I have a way of indicating, is it published? Is it one of what I call my critical pieces? I do business and I do legal. There are certain things in the legal category that are critical. If you are curious about legal, you can click and find out more information about Bizzlebox, but those are my classifications so that I can easily see what are the critical pieces so that when I'm asked the question, Tamsin, do I need this? Yes is different from this is a non-negotiable. So critical for me is non-negotiable. You could have different words that reflect your own business. Then the name of the offer. So the name of the offer, for me, I have frequency. Now, you can see this is in a nice little table here. I'm a huge fan of tables. I love using them, sorting them. I squeal in delight whenever I am invited into a client's business, and they also have organized tables. It means the infrastructure is there. It's going to be easier to keep track of this. So let me just open up one of these pages. Now, this is why I like using this to keep track of offers. You can see at a glimpse, here are the offers. But then when you open, so this is an individual page, Notion terminology, when I open up the full page, everything at the top is reflected in the database table that we were just looking at. On this, I can keep track of the frequency. How often is this build? Key piece of information. If you need to add a glance, see, okay, what are all of my one-time offers. You can sort that database. What are all of my monthly offers? You can sort that database. This is so incredibly important, especially for those of you starting out that want to start out on a solid foundation in terms of making, keeping your business clean from the beginning, learning from the mistakes that those of us further along the journey have made, or those of you that are ready to go to the next growth spurt, whether that is scaling, whether that is simplifying, which also leads to scaling, but certification, licensing, scaling, franchising, 
All of those are terms that are getting thrown around an awful lot right now. And this gives you the infrastructure to support that growth. So that is, again, why I am a huge fan of now that you've got those offers, how do you know where they are? Where are you keeping track of the information? This information is right at the top. I also always link to the purchase terms. Did I mention I'm an attorney? You shouldn't be selling anything, including free stuff that doesn't have purchase terms. I will link to a video I have already done on this and their importance. Uh, so somewhere nearby this video, you should see a link to the purchase term video. Purchase terms are huge. I link to this. I have it so that anybody coming into my business can say, oh, we had a question about the business prenup offer. Great, everything's there that you need. The text for the offer is here and then the upsells or downsells are available here. But you can keep track of anything that goes with your offer. So this is the infrastructure where anything that is going through. So for instance, I could open up the copyright box. These are all Bizzle box, pick a box options. Uh, and I can come in here, look, find out the information. You can see this is one that's in the, for me, it's in the process of a moving migration. Here are the purchase terms. So there's not a lot that I have currently on this one, and that's okay. The important part is I know it's an offer. I know where to find it somewhere that's not just the Kajabi database because, or wherever your offers happen to be. I use Kajabi, so my offers are inside of Kajabi, but these could be offers anywhere when they're in an infrastructure telling you, are you selling it? Yes or no. What is the name of it? What is the frequency of it? What are the fees associated with it for myself? Where is the content held? So I have two main hub. So Bizzlebox and PBK are two of my main hubs, but I have 27 different areas within Kajabi that content is housed. So where is it located? And then what is the URL to that piece? And for myself, what is the pathway? What is the runway? Those of you that have watched me over the years, you know our framework of North Pole to New York City. Again, I will link to that concept below this video, but it's nothing but your sales infrastructure. So where does that offer fit as part of that sales infrastructure? Because we have all of these different pieces along the way, and very few of us are keeping track of them. Um, I use a third-party theme for a couple of my products from Jody Peaver. That is Unlocked ID. I will link in the video. Are, are there coupon codes associated with that offer? What currency is that offer available in? Do I have documents in Google Drive? So you will have your own pieces of this. What you need to have is a framework infrastructure. Think this is part of your sales infrastructure. If you want to grow your business, if you want to run your business with less time, money, and effort, you must take care of infrastructure. Notion is content infrastructure. I am keeping track of the content that goes with the offers. Now, you could do this for any other area of your business. I'm going to show you another piece that I keep track of, and that is landing pages. So again, infrastructure for keeping track. That's all this is. It's just another example for those of you that love seeing, you know, under the hood of someone else's business. These happen to be my published landing pages that I am using in Kajabi. So I can come in and at a glance know exactly where are all of the pages. So for instance, if I open up very exciting, you know, disclaimer page, very, very exciting. 
Um, I know that it's a legal page. I know when it was updated. For me, it's not part of sales infrastructure runways. It is published. Here is the URL. Here is the title, the description, and the image, and any disclaimer language that I'm putting on things regularly. So again, this is a secondary example, but making sure that you have this infrastructure to, as you are making offers, making pages, making coupon codes, whatever you are making, you need to make sure that you have infrastructure. This is infrastructure. If you don't have infrastructure, it will collapse. Think of any building, any a tent has infrastructure, a cabin has infrastructure, a skyscraper has infrastructure, an igloo has infrastructure. Whatever you are building, it has to have infrastructure. This is the piece of how I keep track of my own infrastructure. So I wanted to make that explicitly clear because I think all too often we get caught up in, I've got to make the offer. I got to make the page. I got to do the website. I got to do the coupon code. I got to get the whatever it is. And we forget, okay, that's all great, but how do I find it? And now if I'm hiring people, if I'm outsourcing jobs, if I'm asking someone to go in and do something, how do they find it? So this is a skill that if you can deploy this early in your business, consistently in your business, your business will be on solid footing versus feeling like you're on beach sand that's kind of moving every time the waves come in and out or quicksand where you get stuck and you can't get out. So I hope that was helpful. I will link to everything I mentioned in this video in the description. I will see you on the next video.